Hey guys, it's Matt here. And today I'll be using my iPhone 4 for a week. Well, at least I was going to use it for a week until I found out this. The iPhone 4 uses a 3G network, which makes sense. The phone was a lot older than when 4G came out. But the problem with that is AT&T, which is the carrier that we use, just cut 3G support for these phones. I found that out when I put in the SIM card and it gave me a text saying that this phone is not going to work. So I tried to put it back in my main phone and it still didn't work. So I had to call up AT&T and they said that it was suspended because it went into a phone that wasn't supported. So I got that sorted out. But yeah, so that makes this a really big pain in the butt now because I can't just pop in the SIM card and use this like a phone anymore. So I came up with a different plan. So here is my CDMA iPhone 4. This phone does not have service either and it's never probably going to. You can see on the side here, it's got nothing that I can use. I could call it Verizon, start paying for the network on this phone if that even is supported. I think last video I just said that they discontinued it and it's not active anymore. So I have a feeling that's probably not going to work. So I could do that or I could just use my iPhone 4 with a hotspot, which is what I'm going to do because that's my only option. I could go out and buy a phone plan for 3G from a different cellular network, but I'm not willing to pay per month just to use a phone for one week. And yeah, I'd probably use it later down the road for other phones and stuff, but but I'd rather just not do that. So just to make it easier for me, I'm going to use this CDMA iPhone 4, which doesn't have a SIM card slot in it for a week. And I'm gonna use my phone's hotspot anytime I need to go out somewhere. That's kind of unfortunately how it's gonna to have to be. Thankfully, I'm at home most of the time, so it's not really going to be a huge problem. But if I need to like go into a store per se and use this phone, I have to bring this phone with me and I can't use it. Unless I go into a place with public Wi-Fi, then I don't have to. That's what we're gonna have to do. So I got this other phone here set up, even with my current wallpaper that I use on this phone. And now I realize I'm not even gonna be using it. And the reason why I'm not using this iPhone 4 is because it's got some splotches on the screen. Like I need to get the display replaced to fix it. It's not that big of a deal, but I mean, if I have to choose now, if I get the option to use the CDMA iPhone 4, I might as well just use it. It's gonna be easier. So yeah, I'm gonna get this phone set up, probably record some of it, the process, and then we'll get on to day one. Here's the iPhone 4. I had a hefty phone case that I was gonna use for this thing, but I lost it. I actually had a couple of them. I think they might be like in a garage or somewhere. I didn't think I'd need them, so I was gonna put them in like a garage sale or something, and now they're, I want them, and I think they're sitting out somewhere. Ah, it's just a pain. So I've got another phone case here. It's kind of cheap, but it'll do the job. So let's pop this phone into it. This case is kind of a pain because once you put in the case, it's a real pain to get it out, but putting the phone in like that is perfectly fine. You can see that works perfectly. The case looks fine. I wouldn't say it's a great case, Ow. but one thing that I do really like about it, see this right here on the back? This is a phone stand. You can see the phone will just sit up upright like that and I can just use it like this if I want to. Oops. So what I need to do is I need to copy over some photos. Let me collapse this. I'm kind of confused now. This is stuck like this and I don't know what to do. currently 11.35 a.m. So that means in seven days, it's the 16th. So I'm gonna create a calendar event because I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> oh, no way, is this actually, that's cool. It's pulling all of my due dates and stuff. So it's the 16th today, 23rd, and let's create a new event. Yeah, it's a pain to type uh, when you're looking through a camera. Cool, so right there, I'll tell me when I'm done. So yeah, that's cool. It's actually picking up all my calendar events and stuff too. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. So yeah, who remembers this? When this was the multitasking center, when it used to look like this. I actually really do miss this. I really do like the old design of this. And so while I'm at it, I'm not gonna have the weather app or anything on this phone because they don't work anymore. Thanks, Yahoo. When you try to open it up, it's just gonna take me to this screen saying, we'll be right back. Yeah, sure. Sure you will, it said that for years. So so if I want to get that sorted out, I'm gonna need to figure out how to edit the, I'm gonna need to get into the root uh, access in the files of this device, which I even tried that with the iPod Touch fourth gen when I was playing iOS 7, I couldn't get it to work. So maybe I can figure it out later. I don't know though. One thing, voice control. This is, I don't have Siri on this phone, so. What is the time? Voice control on this phone is not accurate. In fact, it never really has been. I think newer versions of iOS, if you disable Siri and turn on a voice control, which you can do, I think it works fine, but what is the time? 
Voice dialing is unavailable. No music is playing. No music is playing. I will get this. Voice dialing is unavailable when in airplane mode. Voice dialing is unavailable when in airplane mode. No music is playing. Oh my word. Voice dialing is unavailable. Okay, well, I assure you it works. Uh, <laughs> when it wants to. <laughs> Just to show you that I'm not going crazy when I say that this phone doesn't support Siri. Come on, out of here. It actually doesn't. It's not anywhere in here. Uh, it's not anywhere in here. Siri just is not compatible on this device. Siri would normally be around, like, I think under accessibility on iOS 7, but yeah, this phone doesn't support it, so you get voice control. Also, you don't get any of the fancy blur effects when you open the control center, it's just gray. This also, you can see icons and stuff through the notification center as well. iOS 7 on this thing is gonna be kind of weird, especially because this phone's not very fast. Here's my mail is set up. I know this also works, but I'm gonna need to set that up later. Well, this is gonna be a fun week. <laughs> I can't even run Twitch. I if I'm not gonna need like Google Meet. I don't think that works on here. Discord does not work. I've actually tried it. it does not, doesn't do anything. YouTube doesn't work either. YouTube TV, I haven't tried. I don't think it even existed when the iOS 7 was out. So yeah, let's download Cortana. No, that's not what I clicked. Snapchat. Oh, I'm gonna need that. That's not gonna work though, I don't think. I mean, I'll try it. I think I tried it last time and it wouldn't let me sign in. So yeah, time to organize my apps. No, don't do that. Let's see, this app, if this app even works, I'm gonna be surprised if Reddit works. Why don't it wants me to log in? <laughs> it actually does, I'm surprised about that. Yeah, I found out after being just, after being sucked into the app for 15 minutes, forgetting that I was recording a video, so yeah, nice. Yeah, videos don't really like to play though. Um, for whatever reason you go, it takes you to the mobile website on the older versions of the apps when you try to play a video. And it plays for like five seconds and then mutes itself. Yeah, Bandcamp seems to work. Perfectly fine too. It looks very similar to the most recent, recent, latest version. I'm gonna see if I can find Athlon's music. Yep. Snapchat, I haven't tried signing into. I don't think it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. And surprise to nobody, this app doesn't actually work anymore. They discontinued it for some reason, so delete. I know it works on iOS 9, so if I was using my 4S, it would work perfectly fine, but I'm, I'm not, so. <laughs> yeah, that is cool though. This thing's gonna be actually a lot more usable than I thought it was gonna be, although. Still not as usable as I hoped it would be, but you know, you, you can't win them all. Also, there's something that I do want to address, and it's actually a comment that I got on one of my videos. They said, why don't you jailbreak, they say, why don't you jailbreak your phones so then you can use them a bit better than you would be able to when they're not jailbroken. Like there are fixes for the YouTube app and the YouTube studio app, and there are a lot of fixes for other apps that don't work anymore on these phones. And yeah, well I could, I try to make it so anyone could grab one of these phones and see what the experience is like. So jailbreaking it is kind of defeating the purpose of that because you can jailbreak anything onto these. I can make it so it looks like iOS 14 if I wanted to. That's not really being true to what the device actually is capable of doing. A lot of people don't even know how to do that. So kind of giving the experience of what you could do with a non jailbroken phone is what I try to do best here. So yeah, well, I could jailbreak it, I guess. I have no plans on doing that. But yeah, it is, a, it is a good suggestion. I'm not saying that it isn't a good suggestion. I'm just saying that that's the reason why I don't jailbreak my phones. In fact, I don't have any devices that are jailbroken. All right, so I have to actually get out of the house. First day, kind of surprising. I didn't think I'd be able to, but yeah, we are bringing this along. I will not be bringing this phone just to see if how things go with this. What's really cool about the iPhone 4 is it actually supports these. So just connect them over Bluetooth and they work not perfectly. Sometimes they cut out and you have to disconnect them and reconnect them just through the control center. But usually they work fine and the volume on these are pretty good with the iPhone 4. I actually used it yesterday. So yeah, I'll tell you how that goes when I get back. It's 4.15, just got home from being out and about different errands and other places and stuff. And the battery is at 56%. Seems to be doing pretty good actually. I was not expecting the battery to last that long for a phone that's this old. Along with I even got even more apps installed on here. I'm surprised that all of these apps on here do work, so kind of surprised about that. I'll just continue on with my day. I've got to go for a walk, so I'll bring this along with AirPods just to see how that goes. It should be fine. I don't see any problems with that, but yeah. All right, it's still day one. And the battery on this is still going, surprisingly. I had it plugged in. It gained about like 9%, 8 9 to 10%-ish. And it's at 30% right now, so it would probably be around like 20, maybe. But yeah, this phone's been actually doing pretty well. It's actually a lot more usable than I thought it would be. And part of that is with the iPod Touch 5th gen, when I did that video, that was a long time ago. When I did that video, it was running iOS 9. And it was also a heck of a lot slower 
than this phone is. This one's actually a bit faster than iOS 9 is on the iPhone 4S and iPod 5 and all those kind of stuff. So it actually has been pretty nice to use because it's not slow. I mean, it is a bit, it's not fast, but honestly, I would take the trade-offs of it being a bit slower and looking more modern than being on iOS 6. While it is faster, it doesn't really look all that modern anymore. It's aged a lot more horribly than iOS 7 has. iOS 7's aged beautifully. So I'm gonna get this thing plugged in and by the time, it might be day two, by the time this, like, it could be day two by the time I'm done with this clip, but might not be. I might just have like another clip after this, just showing how it went for the night, but yeah. <laughs> it is day two of using the iPhone 4 for a week. So far, it's been going pretty good. I had class before this, so I couldn't actually record because, you know, school and stuff, it's all online right now. So far, it's been going pretty darn good. Most apps that I would want on this phone actually do install and work just fine. So it's kind of amazing actually how a phone that's 10 years old can still be even somewhat usable. That is to say, if you can get a carrier that supports it, AT&T just dropped support for these phones and the 4Ss and the 5s because they use 3G. Apparently that's what they say. I thought the 5 used 4G. They say you need an iPhone 6 or later in order to use their cellular service, which is kind of annoying. Otherwise this phone has been really good for me. So I use the PhotoMath app on my main phone. It seems like there is a version for the iPhone 4. I didn't think that there would be, so that's really cool. Also, my main chair broke, so I had to get another spare one here. There's like something sticking up right here. And it works though, until I can get a replacement. So that's the end of day two. I think today it went really well. I didn't go very many places, so that's why the segment's a bit shorter. Hopefully I can get some more footage tomorrow for day three. I'm still going strong with this phone. I haven't had too many problems. And I can still make FaceTime calls. I can even do FaceTime audio calls on this thing if I want to. Texting works perfectly, even emails. I got that stuff working too. So, so far, no problems. Except for some apps, of course, don't open, but you know this. <laughs> but yeah, on to day three. <laughs> So hey guys, it is day three of this challenge. I've had no issues with it besides the stuff I've already mentioned. There are a couple things though that I do really wish that were fixed. And that is, I hope someone does release a patch for the weather app for this thing. It's the only iPhone that runs like modern software that has a ton of broken apps. Well, modern, but you get the point. But yeah, otherwise this phone still feels really modern. I haven't really missed this phone too much, mainly just because this one's been doing most everything I need a phone to do. Kind of surprising to be honest. I kind of thought that this wouldn't be able to do as much as it has been doing, but no, it's working perfectly fine for what I needed to do. So I, this isn't related, but I had a thought to put iOS 6 on the third gen iPod touch, which uses the same exact CPU as the iPhone 3GS, which can run iOS 6. I do remember getting a comment about this. I'll pull it up if I can, but yeah. So I've been trying for a little bit. I haven't really done too much with it, but I actually did get it to partially restore, although it didn't actually finish just through an error. But comment if you want to see me do that. All right, it is 8.36. I haven't recorded much at all today. Day. and mainly just because there's been nothing to record. I will give my experiences though with the device so far. The device has been running perfectly fine. I've had no problems with it besides the apps that don't work, but most of them do. Like I even got Google Translate to run in here and while it doesn't connect to the camera service anymore, it still does work. And like that, that is the end of day three. Yeah, I know it hasn't been a very eventful video. I'll try to get some stuff in there in later days, but I actually really do like this phone. I actually love the old design of iOS 7. I actually really do like going back and just seeing how these old phones were. So yeah, on to day four. guys, it is day four of using the iPhone 4 for a week. So far, again, going pretty well. And I will also be finally getting out of the house again. So I'll give you some experiences with this phone while I'm out and about. So I'll be back then. Okay guys, I am back and I've got the iPhone 4 right here. Yes, it is very late. It wasn't actually too bad when I was out and about. I used it just to stream music basically. I will say one thing that is annoying though is streaming through YouTube, which you actually can do on the iPhone 4. You can just go into Safari, find a video, hit play, exit out, and it'll continue playing when you open the control center and hit the play button. Apparently YouTube does not block it on these old devices, probably because they don't know how. <laughs> but yeah, that is, something that you can do. Chances are I'll have another recording after this one. Hopefully day five, I can actually give a few more like reviews on how this device has served me and just show some, give some demonstrations on how the thing still works. All right guys, it is the end of day four. And honestly, again, not much has changed between then. I haven't really been using my phone all that much. I've been on my computer. So one thing that I will say is really annoying is there's no Discord app. I mean, there is, but it doesn't work anymore. I use Discord a lot. So not being able to call people from here or message or anything like that, the app just crashes. It's kind of annoying, but that's real that I, that annoys me about this device so far. <music> 
is day five of using the iPhone 4 for a week. What I thought would be interesting just for a change is to kind of just show off this device, kind of just show some of the features that this device gained and you know, some things that it does, in my opinion, better than some newer phones. So here we are at the home screen and you can see, obviously, we still have many of these apps today. We don't have Passbook or videos anymore or Game Center or Newsstand, but we still have most of these today. There is no health app on this phone either. We still have the camera app and it still looks nearly identical to what we have today. We still have the general design of iOS 7 and iOS 14, and we still have a lot of the same icons even. You see the Safari icon, mail, phone, messages, and a couple other apps. I think Photos is another one. These icons have not changed. all right guys it is day six of using the iphone 4 for a week so far again this phone's still somewhat usable i've honestly not really had too many problems with it however the age does really show it has been quite annoying and i have been longing for this phone as i can't use discord and stuff on this phone i can't use the modern youtube app sure you can use a lot of stuff on this phone but it's not practical anymore I can easily look up something on this phone if I want to, or sometimes it doesn't work. Like when I was at a grocery store and tried to connect to their public Wi-Fi, it did not work because this phone's too old to render the website that it uses to authenticate. So this phone I would still say is still like kind of modern looking. I would say that the design of the elements and like the applications and the notification center and all that kind of stuff, it looks pretty darn modern. And I would still say that it has aged very well. But at this point, I will say that looks can be deceiving because this phone, even though it looks really darn modern, it still is super duper old. It's over 10 years old. So, so you can see here, the user interface is still very much modern looking. I still... I've been able to look at this phone and be like, wow, this looks pretty darn modern. And yeah, I've been able to use it. But the looks, like I just said earlier, can be really deceiving because a lot of this stuff doesn't really work anymore. Let me put the brightness up just a bit. Like the weather app, like I mentioned several times, doesn't work, stocks doesn't work. And one thing that I noted, there is no Siri. I actually use Siri a lot and you get this dumb replacement called voice control, which was the assistant before the iPhone 4S came out. That assistant isn't really a smart assistant. I mean, it technically, it technically is, but it also isn't because you can use it without internet. You can only really play, pause music, dial people, FaceTime, ask the time, start playing a song or an album, actually not a song. You can start playing music from like an album, but that's about it. You can't really do anything else with that voice assistant. It's very basic. You can't ask to set an alarm, open an app, check the weather, check movies. You can't even use it to like to turn on settings and different things, which I know iOS 7 Siri, that was a new feature. You can't ask it to turn on or off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, any of that. You have to go to the settings app and do it yourself. Now, one thing I will say is still pretty modern with this phone is the ringtones. They are all identical to the built-in ones that are in iOS 14. Now, there are a couple of things that really do irk me about this device that just don't work anymore. One, websites just flat out refuse to load through Safari sometimes. Another thing that's really annoying is the mail app. If you have two-factor authentication turned on, you cannot use this in a normal method. You still can, and I've got it set up. Even with two-factor authentication, you have to use an app-specific password through Gmail. Yeah, so that is a pain. AirPods do work with this device, but they do frequently disconnect. You have to go into the control center, hit AirPlay, and you'd have to pick it the phone. You have to tap iPhone in this list and then tap the AirPods again, which sometimes breaks stuff. And there are also a couple other things that just aren't modern with this phone anymore and stuff that just doesn't work. Like the weather app mentioned that earlier. Stocks doesn't work anymore. The Maps app does not have turn by turn, or at least I don't think it does. This phone is too old, I think, to have like a GPS built in. I can't remember. It will not update in real time. It will just sit there and then jump over to a new location once it updates through the internet. And when you use turn by turn, or at least when you try to, it doesn't work on this phone because it can't recalculate or do anything. It's just, here's some paths, take that, whatever. A couple of other things that are just kind of annoying about this phone is just the general slowness of it. iOS 7 on this device I think is a good OS for it to be stopped on, but it is not the fastest. Apps don't load very quickly, like even the Compass app, it just sits there. And you can even see like the frame rate even like for the level even drops in here. That's not supposed to be as stuttery as it is. Also, a lot of visual effects were lowered because of the iPhone 4's lower performance. You can see the control center is literally gray. iPhone 4S's, 5's, 5S's all had this control center transparent. They all looked 
nicer than this one did. And the notification center also does not have any effects with blurring and stuff. It's just a black sheet that is slightly transparent. You can't even see it through there. Yeah, another couple of things that just aren't on this phone is the health app. Now, a lot of people get annoyed with the health app and I can see exactly why it can be a pain. I use that a lot, so that's a that's actually something I'd use it to check my health stats and mainly just hearing levels and stuff just because I, I care about my hearing. <laughs> and another thing, man, I'm just listing off a ton of things. This does not have support for the Apple Watch. The iPhone 5 was the oldest phone to have support for the Apple Watch. Not even the 4S had it. But yeah, the 4S did not have that support. All right, guys, it is the end of day six. So tomorrow will be day seven. The day after will be day eight. Yeah, I know it's a week, but... Yeah, I started day one in the middle of the day, so I always do 24 hours. So yeah, tomorrow will be my last full day of using my iPhone 4. And then day eight will be the last moments of me using it and the conclusion. Hey guys, it's day seven of using the iPhone 4 for a week. You can see I'm currently outside. I'm currently on one of my usual walks that I take. And I just used my iPhone 4 because I've been really busy with stuff today. Haven't had a chance to record much outside of this walk. So forgive the quality. It's using the iPhone 4's camera. So yeah, I will say I don't think the camera is awful on the iPhone 4. It's not good. But I mean, for the first front facing camera on an iPhone, I think it's probably, it's not awful. This is the last day that I will be using this phone. Well, the last full day. I'll be using it tomorrow until the midday-ish. I can't remember exactly. So far, I think this phone's been all right. I'll explain a bit more once I actually get back to my main camera because I don't want you to have to suffer with this camera more than you have to, so. All right, guys, so it is later in the day and I've got my iPhone 4 right here. I took the case off of it because I'm not gonna probably be using it out of the house by the time the challenge is over. I will say there were a couple of things. Kind of to wrap up a bit here, just so that I have less to say tomorrow. This phone serves me decently well. It does nearly, not nearly everything that my main phone does, but it does about everything that my phone does. Um, well, not about, I just, dang it. So this phone does not nearly everything that my phone does, probably about 70% of what my phone does now, this phone can do. So let's just go over a few things. So I use a lot of the basic built-in applications and all these still work fine, except for a couple of them. And these are the apps that I have installed over the course of the week. I have the YouTube studio app, the, the little YouTube icon over here is just a shortcut to the website because the main app doesn't work. Touch on that in a bit. The SoundCloud app I have on here, this app still works kind of surprisingly too. This app still works nearly perfectly fine. The only couple problems that there are with it is it's a bit slow and you can't view comments but yeah the app otherwise works fine let me see if i can find a song that's not copyrighted in soundcloud works fine if i go to check like just say my youtube statistics the app does partially work you can go and view your videos and stuff but it mostly doesn't the main dashboard page just doesn't load at all the analytics page doesn't load either it just goes to a blank screen on this device the comments page works the playlists page works the videos page that works those are the ones that work you can't actually use the main analytics or the dashboard i've still got one more day with this phone i've got to finish till day eight done with challenge at 11 30 5 a.m. tomorrow I am done using this phone so yeah it's gonna be fun so yeah guys that was the end of day seven of using this thing for a week so tomorrow will technically be day eight there really won't be much so this is close to the end of the video but yeah so tomorrow will just be my final thoughts hey guys it is day eight of using this phone for a week. I've got about 58 minutes left until I'm done with the challenge. I'll be done by the time I get out of school. All right guys, it is the end of the challenge and I'm going to give you a review of what I think about the iPhone 4. So for usability wise with the iPhone 4, I think that the phone is actually not too bad compared to what I thought, like compared to what other phones could be like the 3GS and the 3G. The 4 still actually has not great app support, but it's better than I thought it would be. However, there are still a ton of apps on this device that you just can't use anymore. They either do not work or they just don't install on here because you need a new iOS version. So that's the thing. Do I honestly think that you should be buying one of these in 2021? No, I already said that in the last video, but if you still have one, 
I honestly still think you should buy a new phone. I think that this phone is too old to be usable anymore. I think that if you barely use a phone at all, then you might be able to use this as like an emergency backup phone. But even then, I wouldn't even want to use this thing for that. I'd want to use like an iPhone 5 or a 5C or a 5S. There are also a couple of things that I really hate about this phone. One of which being no Siri. Now, I actually think that Siri is useless to some people. A lot of people hate it. I actually am one of those people that like it. And the voice assistant that is on this phone is absolutely useless. It cannot recognize basically anything I tell it to. Most of the time it just gets it wrong and starts playing music because that's what it always does. So yeah, it always, it's just, no, <laughs> it's not good. Now, otherwise I think the phone was kind of usable. I would say don't use an iPhone 4 in 2021. Please just get a new phone. You'd really appreciate it. That's about it for this video. So if you liked it, hit the like button, get subscribed if you like the content that you see on my channel and uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys all later.